What's going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be about wholesaling real estate, what it is, how it's done, and if you're not in, you're missing out. What's going on guys? If you're uh, new around here to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, drop a thumbs up, and definitely hit the notification bell. Because if you're not part of the notification squad, you're definitely missing out. You're missing out on valuable content, life-changing content. So what is wholesaling? By standard definition, wholesaling is when a party contracts with a home seller and will market the home to potential buyers and then assign the contract to one of them. So what does all this mean exactly? Um, as you can see, I broke it down in Photoshop for you know the visual aspect. So you can kind of follow along and see how you know what I'm talking about and hopefully it all will make sense. Um, but basically you're looking for distressed properties to get at a significant discount. You're looking for um, you know people that need to sell versus wanting to sell. So that's anybody that's you know tax delinquent and can't afford their taxes on their property. Um, people that can't afford their mortgage, which would be you know a pre foreclosure, um, probate, where you know somebody in the house that was living in the house or owned the house. They died, and um, a family member inherits the property, and you know they, they don't want the property. They could be somewhere in another state, and they just want to sell it as fast as possible and get as much cash you know as they can. So basically, you're going to want to write up a purchase and sale agreement, and that's essentially going to give you equitable interest, which will you know give you the ability to mark the property as if it was yours. You're you're not buying the property. You're not you know, paying for the property or anything like that. You're just putting the contract on the property as if you were going to buy it. Once you have the property under contract, you're going to want to put your marketing cap back on. So now you, you have the property under contract, you're going to want to market. Uh, but at this time, it's going to be for the cash buyers, which will essentially be investors that are either going to want to rehab the property uh, and put it back on the market or you know they want a property for rental income, um, you know that will give them consistent cash flow every month. When you're marketing for cash buyers, um, you know there's a multitude of ways that you can go about doing it. Um, you know I found some on, on Craigslist. Um, if you're a realtor and you have your real estate license, you know you can pull all cash buyers, you know in a certain zip code or vicinity that you're looking for. Um, but one of the best ways that I've found is actually going to local auctions, you know, in the cities that you're you're looking to sell this property. So once you find a cash buyer, you know, that you're willing to work with and um, they want to buy the property from you, you're going to want to draw up another purchase and sale agreement between yourself and the end buyer. And, you know, let's say, for instance, the property, you have it under contract at 120000 you can draw up the purchase and sale agreement between yourself and the cash buyer, um, you know, at one hundred and thirty thousand. So you're selling it for you know the ten grand profit, which you know you'll get at the closing table once the property closes. But um, you know that's still an undervalued property. So let's say the property is worth uh, two hundred thousand. You know they're still getting a great deal on that property. So what wholesaling essentially comes down to is you know. You're the wholesaler, you're marketing for properties that are distressed or undervalued and people that need to sell their properties. You're putting the property under contract at you know whatever price it is that's discounted. You're marketing for cash buyers at that point in time. Once you find a cash buyer, you sell it to them for a marked up price, whatever you know your fee or your time, whatever you feel it's worth. I generally try to stay around 10 grand. Um, depending on how big the margins are. And uh, that's that's about it. And guys, hopefully now, you know, you have a better understanding of how I make money from real estate with little to no money down. Um, I've had a lot of people asking me about this. And um, I actually highly recommend taking this route to get your feet wet in real estate. Um, you know, a lot of people are trying to jump into real estate and for good reason. I mean, you know, the money that you can make from this is life-changing. I mean, if you're making ten thousand dollar wholesale fees and you're only doing you know one a month I mean that's another 120 grand I mean the average uh, you know income 
of a family is uh, I think somewhere around forty thousand dollars a year, and you're literally not doing you know much in terms of time. I mean, the last deal that I closed, um, it took maybe all in all a few hours um, with emails, phone calls, seeing the property, marketing for a cash buyer. You know, it was sold in under twenty four hours after I started marketing it. So, I mean, if you like it and you're really good at finding deals and you can perfect the art of finding the deal, because that's really what it comes down to, you know, that's the hardest part. Finding the cash buyers, that's that's easy. Um, it, it really comes down to an art, it's an art form. I mean, you can make a ton of money if you perfect the art of finding the deal. And hey, if you have any questions, you know, on this stuff at all, whether it be marketing for the, you know, distressed sellers or marketing for the cash buyers or what type of purchase and sale agreement to use, you know, anything at all, drop a comment below, guys. I'm here to help you understand this, and hopefully, uh, you know, you can implement it into your own lives. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and throw a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Tell me, tell me, tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face, tell me that you love me.